Hello everybody, it's Tea Party Cthulhu, and welcome back to more Bulk Slash. In the last episode, we took care of stage 5, which was a color that I don't remember. Was it red, I think? Wrong? I don't know, whatever. Uh, I'm not a German expert. But in this episode, we're going to stage 6, Vice. A resource-rich planet covered in snow. How is it resource-rich when it's covered in snow? Since it's a key strategic point, we've sent considerable forces here, but they're struggling against the enemy's walking fortresses. But if anybody can do it, you can! That A-class MISS officer took flight for this planet. Her navigation is... odd. But we're going to Snowland. It is pretty cold out there right now. Not that cold. Not, not even close to cold enough for snow, but... Uh, we do have to go. Uh, you, you notice with all the damage that I took last stage, um, the game does recover some health for you between stages, but not all of it, which is going to be pretty important. But we're actually going to ignore our navigator's directions and go down this river right now. It's a nice frozen river because... Oh wow, uh, I didn't know the target there. But you can see our navigators right there. I want to blow up all these guys first. There we go. And get the navigator. Okay, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that guy. Sergeant Colon Steiner reporting in. My navigation is kind of amazing. Colon Steiner has experience beyond her years and a knack for wit. But when she remembers her painful past, she often falls into a depression. Ah, uh, that's not what we heard before. All right, whatever. Uh, I do like Colon a lot. She's actually one of my favorite navigators. It's to the right. Uh, okay. So yeah, it's walking fortresses. It's um. It's to the Oh, oops, I thought it was a boss for a second. I tried using the lock-on. It's kind of uh, similar to the stage 1 bosses, except just a normal enemy. Classic thing, you know, game does where it's like, ooh, let's turn our bosses into a normal enemy. It has this cool little, like, laser sweet fire attack. Oh, oh my god. Okay, yes, if you're wondering, um, Colon does say that in the Japanese dub as well. <laughs> it's a... Uh, she says it a lot. And she says it in a really funny way. Undaba. Yeah, she's like a generic foreign woman. <laughs> does she actually... Does this actually... It does drop a shield up. Which is going to be important, because uh, we are pretty low on health. Luckily, there is an ace in the hole for me. But I'm going to wait... I'm going to greed out as long as I can. Um, not just because I was playing Bloons Tower Defense yesterday, but... Um, it's in our best interest. Also, I need to actually follow my navigator's directions. You're near- oh my god, there's so much stuff here. I can't believe I dodged all of that. I want to take care of some of the, like, suppressive fire first. Yeah, there's that big laser. Uh, it will hit you and it will hurt. Let's see if I can get that head. Okay, nice destruction. She, <laughs> she said targets left is by. I can't believe she did that. How many targets are left? Two? Yeah, yeah, she says why. What am I saying? For some reason I thought she didn't say it. I'm gonna have to keep track of that because, uh, as I said, I am trying to greed. Which means I have to keep track. Okay, get a little bit of chip damage. Cruising at top speed is, uh, not so bad in this game. Oh, you also break the snow? When you fly into- I didn't even know that! I've never tried that before. Yeah, I'm, I'm dodging it every time, but you can see the, the like, laser sweep. Okay. Yeah. Targets left. I'm. You know, I might not even need to greed because I haven't really gotten hit on a lot of these guys. But I'm gonna go show it off anyway because I guess it, it couldn't hurt. But what we are looking for is right here, this big giant pyramid on this stage. If we go to the top of it, there's a shield max power up, up there. Um, this is exceptionally rare in this game, so um, good to pick it up when you can. As far as I know, that's one of the only ones. Oh, I thought I dodged them. It's kind of like dodging in a shmup, like, you don't dodge how you think you would dodge. Um, a lot of people who don't play shmups try and dodge bullets by running away from them, like if it's coming towards them and to the right. Also, yes, it's really big. That's what she said, I think. Um, like, they try and dodge back in a, the opposite direction where it's going. The best way to dodge a bullet in a shmup like that is actually move towards it. Uh, but here we have another exceptionally cool boss, and a really hard one, actually. Um, this is basically an evil version of us. Uh, it has all the exact same abilities that we have, it's also really hard to dodge. So, um, you gotta be real careful on this one. 
The strategy that I like to do for this boss is to actually land, uh, because it will land. Pop it with a grenade if you can, and then jump and fly away. Uh, we didn't get a lot of hits right there, but it's more important to focus on dodging against this boss just because he's really devastating. And um, the lock-on missiles are less important here because uh, the, it's pretty hard to hit him. Let's see, we want to hit him. This could actually be a good choice to pick up one of those sub-weapons beforehand. I didn't. I think there was one on the pyramid, but I'm pretty sure I can't pick it up now. Oh, I swear I dodged that. Oh, yeah, you can see this guy is a menace. But yeah, getting any sort of chip damage you can off of your shots, very important. Because this guy is a menace. You want to just kind of dodge him when he jumps. And if you keep this up, it'll, it's kind of slow. But it is safe. And then, yeah, get whatever chip you can. Because uh, it actually does a lot more damage than you would expect. See, the lock-on is faster than turning sometimes, and you can actually combine both of them. If you can get them in like a little like a loop like that, it's also a really good option. Also, yes, he can jump, he can use a sword. Uh, all the exact same abilities that we have. If he jumps up to fly, you uh, you definitely want to jump up too. Because uh, it's extremely hard to dodge stuff on the ground. Okay, he actually got hit by a lot of those missiles. But you want to kind of fly up and then just like pick a direction, and that's a good way to dodge. Because uh, the miss the missiles are generally aimed downwards. Gonna wait for him to move forward here, if you will. He's probably going to land. Then do that. That was some good damage on the grenade. See, this boss is tense, actually. Like, if you didn't know what you were doing, you probably would die. I think in my first playthrough, after the localization hack came out, I think I actually did die on this boss, like, once or twice. Oh. One more shot. <laughs> Yet another way I, I can relate this to, to a cave shmup. Yeah, if you can lock him in a loop like that, you you keep holding L, like, the direction that he's turning, and then mash the lock-on button, and you'll actually turn a lot faster. And so you can hit him with a ton. A ton of damage. Ah, uh, Marioso. Apparently she knows Spanish as well. So here we are, uh, I was gonna say like R and on. Uh, we're on to the final stage, stage 7, blow. Um, another thing I should note, this game doesn't save until you beat it. Uh, you're intended to beat the whole game in one sitting, you can see how short it is. So um, just for people out there who are playing and uh, maybe need to take a break in the middle of playing, if you're playing on emulator, make a save state, if you're playing on console, um, sorry, but <laughs> that's gonna be all from this time. In the next episode we're gonna be taking on the final stage, blah, and uh, we have a lot to do there, so I'll see you guys next time.